Redos 1.3 Release Candidate 2 uh, released a couple of days ago, and so I wanted to uh, show off a couple of things that you can do in the, the new version. Uh, and one question people ask me is, how do I create uh, new programs? And so one of the things we've included in, in this new Release Candidate for 1.3 is the 16-bit version of the GNU C compiler, C, uh, GCC. Uh, and thanks to TK Chia for uh, doing that work. And uh, let's go ahead and, and show you how to create a, a program uh, using uh, that new compiler. So let's get started. Uh, so here I've installed uh, the uh, everything in the devel package group. Uh, that's not something that's installed by default, but you can go very easily into the FD Impulse program uh, and install that for yourself. Uh, I'm going to go into the uh, i16 GNU. Uh, and uh, I've already created for myself a, a very simple uh, uh, version of uh, the CAT program and a very simple sort of Hello World program, and that's what you're seeing here. Uh, if we go into uh, bin, uh, you can see you've got a lot of different programs. Let's do a wide directory on that. Uh, and what I want to uh, run is the i16gcc, that's the uh, C compiler. So let's go ahead and run uh, i16gcc, uh, and we'll ask it to compile the uh, hello.c, which is one directory up. Uh, we're going to have it uh, put it into an output file that is the um, also one directory up hello.exe. Uh, now, uh, when I do this, it's actually not going to compile. It's going to uh, give me an error, uh, and that's because I haven't defined the DJ uh, GPP uh, environment variable. Uh, now, that's supposed to point to a, a specific uh, file, and so if I back up one um, and uh, back up one more, you can see here there's a uh, directory uh, called DJ GPP, and that's the uh, the sort of the, the base uh, set of the uh, of DJ GPP. Let's go into that real quick. DJ uh, GPP, and you can see one of the files that's in there is a file called G DJ GPP .env. That's what we want to set uh, this uh, environment variable to. So we're going to set uh, DJ GPP to uh, C Devel dj gpp uh, and then dj gpp dot env there we go now if i back up into oops uh, if i back up into the uh, i16 gnu and i go back into the bin directory uh, i could have added this in my path but i'm not so uh, there you go uh, the i16 gcc uh, and i want to compile that hello world program which is up one directory uh, and I want to put it into uh, also one directory up, hello.exe. And now it's compiling the program. And uh, that program is a, is a very simple program here. If I just go ahead and type that file, um, you can see it's all it's really doing is just uh, printing out what its uh, arguments are. So I can now run uh, hello uh, and say uh, this is a test of a program, right? And there we go, it's now printed out uh, its arguments. And so I know that that program works. Um, and I have another program in here, uh, another source file uh, for cat. Uh, and so um, just showing you what's in that previous directory, um, uh, cat, and uh, let's just do a more on what that file looks like, uh, cat.c. And so uh, I did a video a while back that uh, showed how to write some very simple versions of uh, some FreeDOS programs, and one of them was uh, basically uh, this, and, and it was uh, uh, basically a, a very simple version of the cat uh, from Linux. Um, this one is extremely simple. It's not using the buffers that we talked about in the other one, just because I was doing a very simple version. But you can see all this is doing is uh, for every file that you give it, it's going to go ahead and uh, do a display of that file. Uh, you can go to that uh, previous video, uh, and I'll link to it in the, uh, in the description. And that you can go to that previous video, you can actually see how I wrote that program. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, run uh, the i16 GCC. And I'm going to run it on the uh, cat.c file. I'm going to output it into uh, cat.exe. And now it's compiling. And uh, when it's done, I can now do a directory on the previous directory. Uh, and now I can do uh, cat on the source file for it. So 
info cat.c. And you can see all it's doing is now displaying the contents of the uh, of that file. Now uh, this is just using the defaults. I'm not. Uh, I haven't used any other options in uh, in compiling. So let's go ahead and just do one more quick test to kind of show what that looks like. Um, so I'm going to do a uh, i uh, 16 GCC, uh, but this time I'm going to give it a compiler optimization, optimization level uh, six, and um, Again, I'm going to compile the cat.c and I'm going to put it into um, cat and then just so we know what it is, uh, 016.exe, right? So that's a different uh, executable file so we can actually just see how those two files are different. Now it's going to go ahead and compile the, the, uh, the program uh, with that extra bit of optimization that I've asked it for. Uh, and if I do a dir on the previous directory, you can see that I've got uh, cat 016 is slightly smaller than uh, cat.exe, uh, which is not a surprise. There's not a lot going on in that program, but it was able to kind of peel out a little bit extra um, in, the, uh, in the compiling process. So I just wanted to do a quick introduction for how to compile your own programs uh, in FreeDOS uh, using some of the tools that we're making available in uh, FreeDOS 1.3 Release Candidate 2. Uh, you can go ahead and download that now. I'll put the uh, download location in, uh, uh, in the comments for the video. Um, and so what did you think about today's video, about compiling your own programs uh, for FreeDOS. Uh, visit our website at freedos.org. Uh, join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.